Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our Wheelie Control Inner Fuel Tech Manager software. So when we have a drag race vehicle that's gonna be rear wheel drive, we always have the potential for the front wheels to pick off the ground. If we launch it with enough power and we have a sticky enough tire and the track surface is going to be sticky enough. And we'll find in this situation, it's going to be slowing us down in the acceleration rate at the launch, which is going to be slowing us down in our ET at the quarter mile. It's also going to be a potential safety factor. If the vehicle comes down abruptly and it slams down, it can break suspension components, it can make us veer off into the wall or to the car next to us. So there's going to be all kinds of reasons why we don't want wheelies to occur on a, again, a rear wheel drive drag race car. So FuelTech has a feature, which is going to be our wheelie control. It's going to allow us to use an ignition cut or an ignition retard to start to reduce or cut the engine's power down if it senses that a wheelie is going to occur. It can take a look at a pitch sensor or it can take a look at a linear potentiometer. So we're gonna be looking at both in this video and walking through all the different things we need to know in order to implement the wheelie control successfully on your drag race vehicle. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our wheelie control in our fuel tech manager software. This is gonna be an absolute necessity on a rear wheel drive drag race vehicle that has the potential to do a wheelie. It's not only gonna be a safety factor because as soon as the wheels pick off the ground, the driver does not have control over steering. So it's gonna be essentially steering off the rear back wheels. And if something happens, it gets spin out, hit the wall, hit the other car besides it. Now the other factor here is when it comes back down and, and the front tires make contact to the ground. If we have a really, really high wheelie where it pulls the wheels off several feet off the ground, when the tires come back down again, it can go and damage the suspension and damage the chassis. The driver could also lose control of the vehicle and veer off into the wall or the other car. So again, safety factor, we want to control the wheelie. Now from a ET standpoint, if we're picking the tires way off the ground and coming back down again, chances are going to ruin our run. So if we're able to maintain the nose of the vehicle and, and having a reasonable level off the ground, maybe an inch or two, that's fine. We don't want to have several feet that's going to be scrapping our run. So we want to make sure we use this and implement it for safety and to have the best ET possible. So let's jump in here and talk about our wheelie control in our software and how we're going to be configuring it and setting it all up. So under our quick access panel here, we're going to jump into drag race features. We're going to find here wheelie control is going to be a parameter that's already populated. Now we don't have to jump into map options here and actually select it from our list. This will already be selected in our actual file here already. So it's going to be uh, predetermined in the file. Now inside the wheelie control here, we're going to have two different ways we can implement controlling the front end. We're going to have a retard stage and a cut stage. Now the retard stage is probably going to be the preferred method. It's going to be much softer and applying the power reduction. Now, the reason why we're gonna have a wheelie is because the tires are gonna be really sticky and the track's gonna be really sticky. And if you put a lot of power down, that's gonna create a pendulum effect on a rear drive car. It's gonna plant all the weight on the rear wheels as it's accelerating. And if you have enough power and the front end's light enough, it will pick the front end up. So we need to reduce the power and we need to do it in a progressive method. We don't wanna go and all of a sudden uh, pick the wheels off the ground abruptly and then all of a sudden put them down abruptly. That will definitely break some things and again, potentially be a safety factor for the driver and for the vehicle and for the other driver on the other lane. So what I would first go and do is work with a retard. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.